In this video, the radio-controlled Cobra Moray goes for her maiden voyage. We'll see how the Moray handles in the water. What broke? Did it sink? And we'll look at some of the features we added to this radio-controlled toy. So this is really the first time I'm putting it in the water as a complete vehicle. Just checking the engine, making sure everything works. And the water I'm putting it in is a coastal river. So this feeds out into the ocean. So this is actually salt water. It wasn't really my first choice, but the pond near us was just full of dirt and stuff. And it didn't work out. So right now I'm kind of scared it just might sink. But luckily it's, you know, happily it's doing pretty well. It looks like it's going along. And the, uh, you know, it's turning. It's, uh, it's moving forward. I am a little bit worried at this point about the waves. So those are just, you know, from kind of some of some of its wakes from boats. You know, there are boats passing by. Um, nobody's going too fast, so the wakes aren't that big by the time they get to the shore. But, you know, still worried about it. And then I got, I noticed the back was kind of sinking down a little bit as if it was taking on some water. And here, you can see it's definitely taking on water. And I'm worried, because that's, you know, it's not just normal water, it's salt water too, so, you know, what's it doing to the insides? But when I built the insides, I made sure everything was off the floor, so it kind of has a bilge. You know, there's a, there's a space at the bottom that could fill up with water, and none of the electronics or the motor would be affected. And there's my favorite feature, the, uh, the missile doors opening up. So, you know, in the real toy, you have to push that button, push it down, and it goes up, and it's really cool. But I decided in the RC version, I wanted to have a servo pop it up so you could remotely control that. And it just adds a little realism and coolness to the, uh, to the vehicle. And you can see here, it's handling those, those waves pretty good. The wakes aren't, you know, coming over the, the side too badly. And there it is with the door open, cruising by. The speed isn't super fast, but I kind of like it. It's kind of more in scale, and that's more what I'm into. Here I just wanted to pull it out of the water, make sure everything was okay. Um, I really didn't want this thing to sink and lose it. Um, that would be bad. But uh, but now I'm feeling more confident. I'm pretty sure, you know, it's not going to sink. It's nice here because I can wade into the water and go grab it. You know, if something goes wrong. And it's it's doing really well. It's, it's floating well. It's not rocking back and forth too badly. There's not too much water going over the side. And, um, you know, I'm just pretty happy with it. The figures, I was worried about them falling out, but I have them tied in with rubber bands, but also some uh, fun tack holding them in place. And I'm really loving the jet coming out of the back. It kind of lives that, like, there's like a stream of silt behind it as it shoots the water out, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm in the northeast, so the water up here is kind of green, and, you know, it's not that blue um, Florida kind of nice water. But uh, it, looks, it looks cool, the boat's like, I love that trail it's leaving behind it. I've never worked with a boat or made an RC boat, this is my first time, and going with the jet was, was kind of neat. Now here it starts a death spiral, see it just spinning around, the, uh, the steering broke, and that was my fault. Yeah, I didn't have the servo tuned right, but um, it should be an easy fix, so not too worried about it. So the, um, you know, the maiden voyage went well, so I thought I'd go over some of the prep and show you what I did. So here you can see how I tied in the guys. Um, that actually, my wife came up with that idea of using the, the rubber bands and the, um, the fun tack. So kind of gave them like little seat belts, almost like climbers. They're kind of like tied together. And um, the idea that if they flip out, you know, they'll still be tied to the boat. I weighed the boat, almost three and a half pounds, so kind of heavy and there's the cool uh, feature with the missiles popping up and down I was pretty excited to get that working and it just works off a button on the controller which is kind of fun and then also I had an LCD light kit and I figured I should use that because I was going to use it in one of my tanks that I set up but decided it would work really well on the um, on the Moray and this is an awesome feature so there's a YouTube channel Gabe T um, Gabe's an awesome G.I. Joe RC modifier, and uh, he he did a moray and did this where the um, the steering turns the uh, the turret up top. So I totally grabbed that idea from him. He he inspired me to do the moray, and uh, 
has been helpful on Facebook and stuff with ideas and things. And so here it is, just seeing the um, the lighting and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's a little weird and crazy with the blue lighting, but the kit only had two red lights. So I figured I'd try the blue lights, and I thought they looked kind of kind of neat, like kind of in line with Cobra and their kind of crazy tech and um, you know the the way some of their stuff looks in the um, in the cartoons and stuff. But I could always change out the lights if it's a little too much. But yeah, there it is. There are all the uh, the cool features on this boat. So it was kind of fun working on the boat because there was some extra space. I ended up having to 3D print and design a few of the components that, you know, this was like a beater moray, like it didn't have a lot of pieces. So I had to make and fix a lot of the pieces, but also it allowed me to make spaces for servos and different kind of things I wanted to add. So that worked out good. So far, this project has been great to work on. I mean, it's been so much fun. I'm so glad it didn't sink. I was so worried this was going to sink or like not work or something like that, but that's really great. So just a few more things to finish on this project. And, um, you know, hopefully I can show that when it's all done, when I get the stickers on it and all the other things fixed up. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. And yo, Joe.